House Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> With his bulldog sentinel at his side. As if I'd be afraid. And I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. But she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. Then she had the audacity to go behind my back with Tyrion when I'd clearly forbade it. There was no thought of how fragile my position with the Lannisters was. And now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what else Mira was doing without my knowledge. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He couldn't even give me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. And sure enough, before a day was out, a brother was dead at the foot of the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. He was quite the bold one, Reek. Trying to stab me with my own blade. And ruining Griff's little humiliation by climbing out of the mud again and again and again. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. The saviour who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was cocky, surely, but he wasn't uncharming. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But I was disappointed. He seemed a man who cared of nothing more than the moment. But afterward, his uncle told me the truth. That Asher had been protecting his friend, a former slave. He had gave up all he came here for to protect her secret. He earned my respect in the end. If not my help. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I think, in the end, Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did, it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira proved that. But at so high a cost. I could have told you the story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They were clever, I'll give them that, but far too sentimental. <laughs> Ruled by emotion when they should have been smart. Instinctive, instead of shrewd. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. <laughs>